Hi Aquarius, Sun, Moon, and Ascendant, this is Dane, and I'm going to be doing your spirit guide message reading for you. We're facing obstacles and being overwhelmed because our world is so crazy, and I feel like this reading is just so needed. So if this reading resonates with you, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. It helps me out tremendously because those are all the things that YouTube likes to see. So thank you again. So let's see what the tarot has to say angels and spirit guides show me clearly guide this reading and show me clearly angels and spirit guides angels and spirit guides show me clearly guide this reading and show me clearly angels and spirit guides angels interesting okay so we're crowned with the queen of pentacles the queen of pentacles is earth sign energy taurus virgo capricorn what we're going to see here is that if we have earth sign energy in our our chart if we have earth sign energy in our life that comes through very powerfully this is the time of nurturing seeds nurturing prosperity and success we might find ourselves nurturing prosperity and success in others we are also going that's going to be easier for us aquarius we can totally do that all day long nurture the prosperity and success in others, but we also have to nurture it in ourselves. We're crowned by what we love and we have to listen to our dreams and to the information that's going to help us to move forward. Now, with the five of pentacles reversed, we're releasing a lot of poverty mentality. I can't be cause, all right? That is going to be released. That's something that has been a huge obstacle for us. It has made us feel astoundingly overwhelmed that we felt locked out of prosperity, success, and bounty the way that we had envisioned it in our souls. With the eight of wands reverse, this is things moving much more slowly than we thought they would. And so here it's, it's showing grace when it comes to time because it's moving slow, moving slow, and then it's going to happen all at once. It's going to start speeding up. So being aware of this is going to be important. The two of swords reverse. We're being very stubborn. Okay. We have a bit of a stubborn streak to us, accepting that, you know, understanding that, re respecting that about ourselves. That's going to be an important thing, but then also saying, okay, I have to change it up, right? I have to change things up. I have to do things a bit differently. That is going to be very important for us because it's going to start opening up doors. And with temperance here, if we have Sagittarius in our chart, if we have Sagittarius energy in our life that comes through very powerfully. We need things to be balanced. We need to be in balance with ourselves. We need to go deeper and deeper into our emotions. What do I love? What do I want? What do I need? How do I move forward for me? That is going to be a powerful thing. Temperance brings us to a place of balance, to a place of harmony, to also a place of greatness. But also there's this energy of asking questions, figuring out, wondering why. And then the four of swords reversed, we need to rest. We always have our armor on. We're always, our energy is always tense for one reason or another. We need to rest. We need to be calm. We need to stabilize ourselves. We need to know that spirit is watching over us. We need to know that there's a part of us that is waiting waiting to awaken. And as we realize this, we start to nurture ourselves more. We start to see ourselves more. Now let's see what spirit has to say. And if you're interested in entering to receive a free reading, put a shamrock in the comment box below. A person will be chosen at random and announced on Sunday. So keep your eyes open for that video. It will be a completely separate video. And hit the bell notification if you want to be notified when the video comes up and when all videos come up. Angels and spirit guides, show me clearly. Guide this reading and show me clearly, angels. Love reversed. You know, there's a, the song, right? All you need is love, the Beatles song. And here, we need to remind ourselves of that. All you need is love. Love is reversed. You know, we can almost think that love, oh goodness, hasn't been enough. And sometimes it's not, you know, based against other people's free will and, you know, all the chaos that life throws at us. But when it comes to our obstacles, when it comes to being overwhelmed, stepping into love again, stepping into being in love with ourselves again, that is really an important thing and a powerful thing. It moves us to our chakra energy. Angels and spirit guides, show me clearly. Guide this reading and show me clearly. This is self-mastery. This is the solar plexus chakra. We need to trust our gut. 
We need to listen to our gut. And as we trust our gut and listen to our gut, we start to see ourselves trusting and listening to ourselves more, trusting and being inspired by us more. There's going to be something that happens that is a bit of a wake up call for us. We're going to be seeing things quite differently. And as we do so, it's like, oh, now it's time for me to start listening to me again. Somewhere along the way, Aquarius, we, we forgot about ourselves, like our dreams and what our soul deeply desires. And then that has led us to feel like we're not we're not on the path we should be on. So, or like we're hitting roadblock after roadblock. Let's see the energy we need to be mindful of, angels and spirit guides. This is the four of pentacles. This is vampiric energy. Okay. This is draining energy. This is overwhelmed energy. This is blockages, you know, solar plexus blockages, chakra blockages. You know, I know our solar plexus is doing great, but in the, um, in the Rider Waite Smith deck, the, the solar plexus are, are covered. So, ooh, sorry, I just hit my mic. So just be aware of that. This is also vampiric energy from others, draining, feeling overwhelmed, doubting, fearing, having these doubts and fears that have been with us for quite some time, you know, coming forward. And we're going to start to see that we're releasing a lot of the vampiric energy that had, had stopped us before. Okay. A lot of the energy that we didn't know that we were carrying, we are looking at it now and saying, why am I still believing this? Like, why am I listening to that person? You know, why am I giving them my power? My life is mine. And it moves us here to nurturing our prosperity and our success and our bounty and our abundance. My life is mine. And I get to nurture the prosperity of it. Remember that, Aquarius. Because we've given other people our power. We've let fear wrap over us like a familiar blanket, you know, like the shawl that she's huddling into here with the five of, of pentacles, you know, the, yeah, the sense of this is familiar. This will keep me safe. This will keep out the cold. It's the vampiric energy. We're so used to being told we can't. Then when we start to see that we can, we're like, oh my gosh, no, we can't, right? They had to have been right. Sabotage will come in, you know, self-sabotage will come in, doubt, fear, crippling anxiety, you know, will come forward because we can't let ourselves be successful. We can't let ourselves embrace that because that goes against so much of what we've told, so much of what we thought. It's slow go. Okay, fine. But we're going, you know, we're going to think faster is better as we usually do as human beings. It's not, you know, there's speed limits for a reason, right? So here, looking at, looking at ourselves and saying, I'm releasing that I have to be on the outside looking in, that I don't get to have the beautiful things that life creates and cultivates for me and falling into the vampiric energy of you're not enough and you will never be enough. We're releasing that. It's slow go. We're stubborn. We're going to see things in one or two ways. We're going to be like, it has to be just like this. And spirit's like, why? Open up your mind. It's going to be different than you thought. And that's okay. Finding balance, finding harmony, temperance, you know, harmonizing ourselves, seeing ourselves. And as we do so, listening to our dreams because we forgot that there is such power that spirit talks to us in our dreams. We're being protected. We're being watched over. It's time to release the constant being on guard, the constant vigilance that we have. We're awakening and it's hard to do. We feel overwhelmed. And so instead of letting ourselves rest, instead of saying, okay, I'll, I'll go to sleep an hour early. That sounds like such a luxury, right? I can't possibly do that. I have so much to do, but starting to take care of ourselves and starting to say, let me wind down. Let me connect with me. Let me see what's important to my body, my soul, myself, my mind. And starting to remember again what we loved. And instead of writing ourselves off as losers, like you can't possibly do this, saying, why not? You know, why is it somebody else that can, but not me? Mm -mm. Queen of Pentacles, prosperity and success. Queen of Pentacles, Aquarius. Embrace it. Nurture your abundance. You nurture it in everybody else. Nurture it in you. Our subconscious spirit message is wish. You just hear the Disney when you wish upon a star, right? It makes no difference who you are. Wish. See your wishes and stop with the poverty, with the 
with the, you know, I can't because the vampiric energy that's draining us of our strength, of our bounty, of our abundance before we even started. The wish is coming true. Right? Our wish for our future, our wish for our soul, it moves us to our subconscious chakra energy, and that's grounding. Grounding is reverse. We feel like we're free falling. We can have dreams, you know, when you free fall into your body. You know, we, we feel like we're free falling. We feel unrooted at times. And that's okay. You know, <laughs> that's part of life. It's part of growing. But here, it's saying, how do I need to nurture me? How do I need to root me, guide me, you know, stand in my presence and feel secure within me? It brings us then to our energy to be mindful of. And that's the three of swords reversed. Be mindful. We're releasing a lot of heartbreak, a lot of pain, a lot of disappointment. It has overwhelmed us. It has stopped us. But it has defined us for a really long time. And so even bringing it up and saying, you don't get to have this power over me can be quite intense. Very powerful, very beautiful, but very intense. So just be aware of that. And it can try to stop us and say, well, no, I'm your pain. I'm I'm everything that you are and everything that you will ever be. And that's just not true. It moves us to our subconscious tarot message. And it's the two of wands. We have had doors slammed in our face. Literally, figuratively, we have failed. Okay? We look at things and say, yep, that, that, that was a failure. That was a time where everything went wrong. But we are where we need to be. We are on a path that is so important and so sacred, that is simply ours, right? It's our task. It's our story. It's our world. But doors have closed. But windows have opened. New opportunities have opened. You found yourself somewhere along the way. And you wouldn't have if the doors didn't close. But stop being afraid. The doors will always close because they won't. They won't. And it's time to start believing in the passion and beauty again. Okay. All right, Aquarius. I hope this reading has resonated with you. I wish you nothing but light, love, peace, and happiness. May harmony always be with you. I am sending loving, healing energy to each and every one of you. I love you all and stay safe. Let's end this reading with a meditation, a clearing away of negative energy, a raising of our positive energy as we embrace the power, intensity, and beauty of this time and of ourselves. So take a nice deep breath in. Oh, and before we take a nice deep breath in, just note that this meditation and healing will be accompanied by a loud sound. So take a nice deep breath in, exhaling whenever it feels comfortable for you. May you move forward in peace and in harmony, Aquarius. May blessings and prosperity always be with you. I love you all. God bless. Bye.